If you're just waking up this morning, the votes are in, and we now know who will be on the ticket for governor in Missouri this fall. That's right, the closest race of the evening, the Republican primary for governor. Last night, Eric Greitens and Chris Coster won their primaries for the race for governor. Greitens beat out three other candidates in a very narrow race. Coster's victory was a little easier, winning his nomination heavily. And they aren't taking any time off to celebrate last night's victories. The candidates are back on the campaign trail today, gearing up for November. Now, we haven't heard where Greitens will be today, but one candidate, Chris Coster, will be in Harrisonville later this morning. That's where we find Sarah Plake this morning. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning. As you said, he's kicking off his statewide bus tour here in Harrisonville since this is the place that he first started his career as a rural county prosecutor. Now, Coster easily won the Democratic primary, so now the focus is keeping the momentum to take the governor's seat in November. He'll travel across the state speaking to his supporters and talking on issues he plans to fight for, including infrastructure, Missouri roads, equal pay, and creating jobs. He's a former Republican, and his competitor, candidate Eric Greitens, is a former Democrat. Both have since switched parties. I changed parties to become a conservative Democrat because I saw a Republican Party heading down a dark alley with no escape. Tomorrow morning, you will see the ads against me begin, telling you what a horrible person I am. These ads will be paid for by the very same politicians who once chose me as their leader. And that's him speaking at his watch party last night after he secured the nomination. This morning he'll be here at the old courthouse in Harrisonville uh, starting at 7.30. We will have coverage on that on 38th, the spot. So head there if you want to see uh, what he has to say. We're live in Harrisonville. I'm Sarah Plake, 41 Action News.